Hello beautiful people. My good friend Charlie asked me a question this week that uh, sent me down a black hole of discoveries and internet research. This topic is actually like way more complicated than I realized. <music> Mic level versus line level. What's the difference between the two? Now in Charlie's world, Charlie works live sound, so this is like really relevant for setting up his PAs and sending signal all over the place. It's also super relevant in the recording world and I guess the reason I didn't know as much about this is just because anytime I would encounter mic and line level it was always I knew what to do out of habit you know it was like I was already taught to handle mic and line level in a certain way so I kind of knew what I needed to do without actually understanding the concept so Let's dive into this a little bit deeper. The main thing to know about mic and line level as a whole is that these things are descriptions of voltages. Of course, voltage, just like any other form of energy, fluctuates. And so mic and line level, when we describe them as like, in general, mic level, line level, these are averages of the varying voltages. Microphones are transducers. Transducers are things that convert energy from one form into another. So let's imagine for a second that you're talking into a microphone, okay? When you speak, you're disrupting the air molecules, which are all bumping into each other and, you know, traveling in that way through the air. Uh, you get to the diaphragm of the microphone and that those air molecules bump into that diaphragm, move the diaphragm, and then some other electronics inside the mic. To be honest, I don't totally understand this. It probably has to do with magnets or something, and then generates a voltage. Now, if you can imagine, the amount of force that, like, these little air molecules hitting the diaphragm um, is really, really small, and so the voltage that's generated is a very small amount of voltage. This isn't something that you could, you know, if we were able to like plug that into a speaker, we'd never be able to hear that. It's just too small of a voltage. Because this voltage is so small, we then have to patch that signal or send that signal to a mic preamp. And that's like why we use mic preamps, because the amount of voltage is so small, we need to, we need to amplify that voltage in order to manipulate it at all. Now, when we amplify, the mic signal, the mic level, if you will, uh, we amplify that to line level. That's the whole purpose of the mic pre, is to convert the signal, or not convert, but uh, to amplify the signal from mic level to line level. And line level is, it's basically like the audio standard of level that you want to be at. You know how like, uh, in a super dumbed down way, the electric company sends like all of your outlets are 120 volts. That's just the standard for what it is. Line level is the standard for pro audio. And, um, and so that's kind of the goal to get all the signals to line audio before we send it to the power amps and to our speakers. The thing to just remember in general is that the outputs of your mic pre's are line level. And then all the gear following that, unless specified um, as something else, is going to take and receive and send line level. Now, let's say we took our microphone and we patched it into a compressor, and then out of the compressor into an EQ, and then out of the EQ, and now we're ready to hear it. We want to hear what we just uh, processed. Now we go to send those to the speakers. Every speaker has a power amplifier. Now if it's a powered speaker, that amplifier lives inside the casing of the speaker itself. But if not, then you have a little amp and that powers your speakers, right? Those speakers all take line level. And again, the signal, the, the signal is amplified so that we can hear it, and that's speaker level. Just like microphones, speakers are transducers. So speakers will convert the energy from this like electrical signal back into like the movement that moves the diaphragm of the speaker and you know it wiggles the air <laughs> and uh, and then we can actually like hear that as audio and that's the difference between mic and line level 
The difference is just that mic level is a much smaller, generates a much smaller voltage than line level, and our goal is to get to line level because that's the audio, pro audio standard for uh, basically going into a power amplifier. Thank you everybody for watching, and I hope this uh, made some sort of sense to you, and you know, like I said, this is a dense topic and it was really interesting and fun to do some research on it. I learned a lot. Peace.